Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome to my channel, If First Inklings. Today's bullet journal video is going to be all about setting up my January reading bullet journal spread today. Um, if you see some stuff in the background, this is kind of my marker so I know how where not to get out of frame. All right, before we get into to these, this spread today, be sure and check to make sure you are still subscribed to me if you think you were and if you're not hit that big red button so you can see more videos by me when I put new content out. Now let's get into my intro. So today I will be using just three pens. I've got my Artist Loft blue pen. This is my color, one of my colors for the month. Then I have my uh, Fabric is Still Pit Artist pen in gold. It's a 1.5. And so these are my colors to this month, a kind of navy and gold. And then I'll be using my Micron just black fine liner. It's in the 0 0.30 millimeters. So let's open this up and get started. I'm using this washi tape on the edge so that I can, I know when January starts. Okay, so here we are. We have my January calendar spread here. So what the, my symbols over here mean is I will take my 
my blue pen for every day that I've read and I will just scribble in the box I don't do it I don't color it in completely I just kind of scribble it in here is an example of December how I did it again like I said it's just scribbled in the box and then I will use my gold pen to write on top of that and mark if I listen to an audiobook that day if I read an ebook or if I read a physical book and sometimes I have all three of those those on there and then I put a heart if I finished the a book on that day super simple but um, it kind of helps keep me on track and it's a way an easy way for me to track the days that I've read I have not read anything today is January 3rd and I haven't read oh sorry I hit my stand um, I have not read anything for the so far this year so then my next spread is my books read spread and if you've seen my previous setup video you will understand what these boxes are but just an outline or a quick thing when I read a book I will put the picture of it in this square so I have a visual representation of, of all the book covers for the year and in the box below I'm going to put the format slash the source and I'll probably put those in a um, just in initials so that I have plenty of room and then I'll put my star rating below that the number of pages in the book and then if it's an audiobook I'll put the number of hours total in that book and then this bottom line will be the year that it was published I'm leaving space over here I I need to read at least 11 books each month some months I don't read that many but this gives me 12 spaces there have been months that I have read as many as 18 books so I've got enough spaces for for that but I didn't want to draw these in in case I don't need them um, but I do want my books read all, all on one page there is the occasional month last year that I read 22 books in one month and if that happens well that's great but it's going to mess up my layout quite a bit for the month so because I want to keep my my reading spreads to just three pages the entry the calendar on the front my books read and my stats all on these two open pages so down here I'm going to track the genres I didn't write them in I've got 10 fiction genres and six nonfiction genres that I'm tracking but there's a good chance I'm not going to read a book from it, one book from each of those every month so I just gave my space enough space to do I think I can I can get 10 to 12 in here if depending on how tightly I do it if I do it on the top and bottom of each uh, next to those lines and then I'll just do tally marks next to that and then over here is my ages so again children's middle grade YA or adult and I'll just mark those and I'll do hashtags also for or hash marks for standalone series new author or read prior an author that I've read previously and that is it that's my setup for January um, most of my setups will probably look like this if I participate in a readathon then I may carry that over onto this page but I want this front facing page here to be for the next previous month so right now there's nothing in January no readathons I'm participating in so I don't have that set up yet I don't know how I'm gonna do that each readathon is usually different so if you have enjoyed this uh, bullet journal plan with me please give me a thumbs up again make sure you're subscribed if you're not go ahead and hit that click click that big red button so you can see more book related and bullet journal related videos and be sure and leave me a comment down below do you like this spread is there something you would like to see do you want me to show you this every month as I get it filled out um, do you want me to do a flip through at the end of at the end of each month to show so I can show you where I'm at in all of the rest of these previously set up and then my current setup for the month um, 
yeah, leave me a comment down below telling me all of the things. So what you're going to see on the screen now is going to be a playlist linked to my past bullet journal videos and also a video that YouTube thought you would enjoy. So uh, hopefully they've picked a good one. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below if they did. And with that said, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.